good morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name's Lisa if you're new around here today's video is going to be a favorite so I asked in my last video if you'd like to see you know kind of the things that I've been loving recently and I thought I'd share it with you there's going to be a lot of stuff in here that's obviously related to my kind of running journey but I've also got food beauty hair all of that good stuff so if you'd like to see what I've been loving for the last month or two then just keep watching let's get into the video. I think I'm gonna start with my running journey and the things that I've been loving and what's been helping me with my running journey recently. So I started Couch to 5K back in February. I'm currently on, well, I'm going on to week eight now. So I've just got two more weeks left and then I've completed like the Couch to 5K program and then you kind of progress onto other stages. But I can't believe I'm on week eight, guys. This is crazy because week seven was three runs of 25 minutes. I could not even run for one minute at the start. Literally, I've never been a, like into fitness, never been into running, definitely haven't been into running. I used to do anything to get out of doing PE at school. So this running journey has been like a bit of an epiphany for me. I don't know. It's just made me feel really good and I'm really glad that I started it. So I started it with Mark. Mark actually completed his Couch 5K journey yesterday, but he's obviously gonna continue running, but he graduated yesterday, so he's done his full nine weeks. I had to take two weeks off because of injury, but now I've been doing it for seven weeks, onto my eighth week. I thought I'd share with you things that have really helped me along with my journey. So let's start with that. I think I'll put some timestamps down below in the description for you, so if you wanna to skip to like beauty or hair or anything like that, then you can do so, but if you are interested in this, then keep watching. Let's get started. Okay, so, I'm gonna start with the most important thing when it comes to running, in my opinion, and these are like the trainers that you wear. So these are my trainers. I've, I've got lots of blue going on here today. Do you like my nails? How cute, I had them done the other day. Anyway, that was unintentional, but we're matching. So these are my new trainers. I've been wearing these since my injury. So when I had my injury, I ordered these because everyone was like, you need to get the right trainers, yada, yada, yada. I have no shops near me that do the gait analysis, which is um, you go on like a running machine and things and they, they'll track how your tread is, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but if you've got a running shop near you, you can go and have your gait analysis done to get the right trainer for you. I did a bit of research and I saw that loads of people recommended the ASICs. I went online and I ordered some. These are the ones that I ordered. These have been amazing. I've not had any kind of injury since with my knees because I had the worst knee pain within those first few weeks of doing Couch 5K. Honestly, I thought I'm never gonna be able to do this because this knee injury is so bad and it really made me upset. But since I've been wearing these, it's been incredible. I'll link them down below for you because I don't know the exact name of them. Oh, it just says Ortholite here, but I know they've got a different name. They're the Gel Excite 10 ASICs and they have been so, so comfortable. I absolutely love them. I would highly, highly recommend them. They're really light, very comfy. I even wear them when I go out for my walks now because they're just so much more comfortable than like my usual like New Balance trainers that I've got. Those are just really nice for walking and running. So highly recommend those. They've been incredible. The next item that I wear almost every time I go out for a run is this cap. It's just a little Terex cap. So it's like an Adidas Terex but it's that material that when it's raining, your head doesn't get wet. Um, it does say on here, rain dry, rain ready. Um, it's got this little logo here. So I'm assuming it's waterproof. I haven't got a wet head whenever I've worn it and I've been out in the rain. I've been out in the rain quite a few times running with this hat and it's been really, really good. So I thought I'd mention it. I like to wear it. It's another thing that just makes me feel a little bit more hidden almost when I'm running because sometimes I get a little bit shy or like not embarrassed but I just get a bit shy so when I wear my hat I can kind of just wear it and like put my head down a little bit and just just run you know what I mean I feel a little bit more in disguise so yeah I've been absolutely loving that hat I wear it all the time I wear it out of running as well it's been an absolute like fashion favorite I suppose but um yeah, I love it so, so much. So I'd highly recommend a cap. The next thing I've been absolutely loving for my running journey is of course music and wearing my headphones. So these are actually quite new. I did have some really cheap ones that I bought off of TikTok shop for like 6 99 And I went to like put them on one day and the arm snapped. So 
yeah, that was worth it. So um, Mark has already got some like these in the navy, in the, these are like Sony headphones. So I'd already been wearing his ones and I knew they were comfortable. I knew they like, you know, felt good on my ears because sometimes the other ones as well from TikTok shop, it kind of squeezed my ears down a bit and it was, they were quite sore by the end of the run. Whereas with these, I don't have that. They're really soft and like padded and very comfortable. And as you can see, they kind of just spin around. So they're just really easy to put on. I like the colour of them, they're just a neutral beige tone and they're like Bluetooth headphones. I feel like these are a really good price as well because I was looking at other headphones because someone did mention to me, she was like, oh, have you got the Apple headphones? Because the other ones that I had from TikTok shop looked like the Apple ones because I Googled them after. And I was like, no, they're from TikTok shop. So I thought, oh, I'll just Google the Apple ones. And they're like 500 quid. I was like, what? 500 pound for headphones, that is so, so, so expensive. I think when I got these, they were about 39.99, they were on offer. So I'll link those ones down below for you. Perfect for what I need for running and when I go for my walks, I always listen to music. It's just, oh, it's just so good, isn't it? It's just such an escape when you can listen to your music and just get in your own zone, especially when you're running, you kind of need to be able to get into your zone. So yeah, been loving those headphones. Okay, next I've got a brand that I've been using as well during this journey and it is called Pure Sport. So, I actually bought this when I had my knee injury because I wanted to do anything to kind of get rid of the pain and just to ease things up when I was running. So I went for the Pure Sport Freeze Roll-On. I saw quite a few different reviews on this. Loads of people recommended it. I actually found it via TikTok actually. It's just a roll-on that you roll onto any of the areas. You can do it like before or after up to three times a day. It's meant to kind of relieve the pain. So today, for example, I've got quite sore calves. Not sore, they just feel a little bit tight because I went on my 25 minute run yesterday. It was quite hilly because I did it a different route so I could really feel it in my calves. And then I went for a walk afterwards. So it was just a lot on my feet and legs yesterday. But I put this on this morning and it's just kind of relieving that tightness a little bit. So in this, it's got CBD, magnesium, arnica, peppermint and lemongrass. And yeah, I do feel, I do feel like it works. It does relieve that pain. It's just a nice little part of my routine when I get back from a run if I need it. I'll use this or the next day if I feel a little bit achy then I'll use that too. Another thing I've been loving from Pure Sport are the socks. Now I didn't really realise that this was kind of a thing when you go running because I've been watching all these videos on TikTok about the people's running journeys and snazzy socks seem to be a thing so I was like I need to get on this sock game this is cute and uh, you know anything to make your outfit look nicer. My outfits are really really simple and basic when it comes to going running but I thought if I could jazz it up with my socks love that for me. So I got these um, running socks, pure sport running socks. They've got like a neon yellow, which I feel like would go really well with the back of these trainers. So I might treat myself to the yellow ones, but the pink ones have been really cute. Absolutely loving those. It's pretty much everything that I've been loving on my running journey. I'm gonna move on to a fashion favorite because I have been loving this on my running journey as well, because I've been wearing them nonstop. And that is some leggings. So I've been using these leggings for running, and also just casually. I've been living in leggings recently. I don't know what it is. I feel like just this weather has not been very nice recently. So I just feel like if I can put leggings and throw on a baggy jumper, I'm kind of good. Like I'm not too hot, I'm comfortable. So I've been living, living, living in my leggings. You guys know I love my Adenola leggings. I wear them all the time. I've got them in a few different colors now and I recently bought um, like a navy pair, which are really nice. But I felt like the navy pair didn't fit the same as the other ones that I'd ordered previously, even though they're the same size. So I decided to order another pair of these leggings, which I do already have in brown, but I ordered them in my size in the brown, they were too big. So I sized down, because apparently that's what you need to do with these leggings, and they fit perfect. They're so, so nice. They are buttery, buttery soft. They are squat proof, so if you're doing squats in the gym, you are not, you don't have no worries with this. They come in so many different colours. I've actually just ordered like a pair this colour, like this kind of like bright blue, because I thought that'd be quite nice and fun for summer. And yeah, I've been absolutely loving these leggings. They're so, so comfortable. I would highly recommend them. Um, definitely size down. You do get the little side pocket, so you can put your phone in there if you need to, um, on both sides. They've got a nice thick waistband there that just holds you in really nicely. They stay up, they're high-waisted. They are so, so lovely. So I'd highly recommend those leggings if you're looking for some for, you know, casual wear, sports wear, going to the gym, running. Highly, highly recommend those. So those are my kind of running, 
fashion favourites. Let me move on to a couple of hair favourites. I don't actually, I think I've only got one hair favourite here. Yeah, only one. Is the Philip Kingsley Moisture Balance Shampoo and Conditioner. But this is a new set. This is the um, Sicilian Lemon and Bergamot fragrance. Oh my god, this is just so... Oh, it's literally summer in a bottle now let me just see if this is still for sale so so this is definitely limited edition this one so if you want to get it you should be quick with it this is the this is a bodybuilding shampoo and conditioner which i already love and use anyway i already use like the original ones of these but i love it when they come out with a new fragrance because they're always so so good this is just reminding me of being back in italy my hair smells amazing once i've used it my hair feels and goes so soft and gorgeous I highly recommend them if you're looking for a shampoo and conditioner okay so this next item is a perfume we've got the zara red temptation now who remembers a couple of vlogs ago i was in zara and i was looking for this perfume because i was like oh my god this girl that i know wore it and that's all I could smell so basically the PR when I was in Berlin she was wearing it and I was like what are you wearing because you smell amazing she was like this Zara red temptation and I was like what I need to try this and little did I know I already had it guys I already had it and look I've already used this much of it I don't know how I didn't know that I already had this I sorted out my makeup drawers over here the other day and I discovered it and I was like, wow, I already had it, amazing. It's meant to be a dupe for Baccarat Rouge, I think it's called. I've never tried that fragrance, so I don't know if it is a dupe, but this one smells so good. It's nice and affordable. I've got the smaller 100ml, I think this is. Uh, oh no, this is a 30ml. I've got a 30ml here, but it's a really great size for your handbag. So I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a new fragrance. Perfect date night fragrance, because it's got a little bit of like a sexy vibe to it but a really gorgeous everyday scent as well. You don't need a lot of it. It's very, very like potent, I would say, but really beautiful. Absolutely loving the Zara Red Temptation perfume. Next, whilst we're talking kind of beauty stuff, let's talk about a bath favourite that I've been really enjoying. This is by Neon and it is a bath oil. So this is the Real Luxury Wellbeing Soak and it is lavender, jasmine and sandalwood. And this is just glorious. I absolutely love it. It just smells like spa. It is so relaxing, like that lavender is just so calming, isn't it? I've got about half left, um, if you can see that. It smells so good. I just put a few drops of this into my bath before I have a bath and it's just beautiful just sets the scene, sets the mood for my bath, you know, I need some relaxation, a bit of a pamper, and this does just that. It's also got in here, it says, naturally rich in five wonder vitamins, A, B1, B2, B6, and E, for an antioxidant boost um, of sumptuous skin replenishment. My skin definitely feels really lovely and soft after I've used this. I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for like a nice pamper treat for your bath time or you would like to buy a gift for someone, this would be a really lovely gift. Right, I'm going to share with you a couple of beauty favourites, like makeup favourites. Um, I'm going to start with this actually. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now this is something I've been wanting to try for about, I don't know, 10 years probably. Ever since I like started blogging, this was definitely a product that was mentioned a lot especially back when I started but I recently got sent this and oh my god it's really lovely I've got it on today just so you can see how it looks on the skin very very natural it's very lightweight I use shade 5.5 which I think is a really lovely shade for me perfect everyday foundation or night foundation if you're going out for the evening you can kind of build it up but it is very lightweight so it's quite a liquidy product it's just really lovely and velvety on the skin so i would highly recommend this foundation if you're looking for a foundation that you want to either wear for every day wear for best you know when you really want to put a little bit of effort in or if you're going on a night out or to a wedding this would be a really great foundation to try out another product that i've been loving is by pal beauty i think i've mentioned this in nearly all of my favorites because i just love it so much this is the multi-purpose stick in the shade classic beauty and i love this so much so it's like a really gorgeous uh dark fuchsia pink almost it's got a ready tone to it absolutely stunning i wear this on my cheeks and on my lips and i love it i wear like a really lovely brownie lip liner and then pop this on it just gives you that pop of pink which i love i don't feel like i'm a really like nude nude lip girl anymore i used to go for really like 
browny, beigey nudes, whereas now I go for more pink nudes. I just think like the pinky tones suit my skin tone a lot better now, so I go for pinks, and this is such a great one because it's multi-purpose, you can use it on your cheeks, lips, it just works really well. It's a great product to travel with, and I love it. I love the colour of it, it's absolutely beautiful. Let me just swatch it for you so you can see. That is what it looks like, but when you sheer it out as well, it's not as crazy, so you can kind of um, blend it out a little bit, you know what I mean? Really gorgeous, blends beautifully, I absolutely love it. Do you know what I mean? You can make it a lot more subtle, and yeah, it's gorgeous, I absolutely love it. So I highly recommend that one by Pearl Beauty. Okay, so the next favourite I wanted to talk to you about was this face tan. So this is a self-tanning sleep mask. It's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. I actually use this in the mornings when I want to, or of an evening, and it's just so, so perfect for giving yourself a bit of a tan and a nice glow. I absolutely love this. I can wear this product alone, and then in the morning, sometimes put a little bit of concealer on, a little bit of bronzer, and I don't need to wear foundation because it gives me such a gorgeous base for my skin. I've mentioned this so many times now, this product. I've bought it probably maybe two or three times. It lasts so long and you don't need a lot of it. It just works really well on your skin. It's scent free, but I do find that it has a tiny bit of a scent to it, but it's really lovely, very moisturizing as well, and gives you the perfect tan for your face. So highly recommend the Pure Self Tanning Sleep Mask by Bondi Sands. Absolutely love it. I forgot to mention this in my hair favorites. So, I quite often will wear my hair up at night time or you know when I'm just like when it's like day two day three of my hair I just want to put it up and I use silk scrunchies a lot but sometimes I find that when my hair is like straighter or like this the silk scrunchies if I double tie them they're too tight on my head so I can't wear them like that and then if I just do them once it's too loose so I use these ones which are okay for your hair, not great, because they kind of pull on your hair a little bit, and obviously if you're twisting your hair around this, not great, unless you're really, really gentle. So, I wanted to find something that's like this, that has that kind of big stretch, so I can tie it around my hair twice, without it feeling really tight and giving me a headache, but that had like more of a silky vibe to it. And I looked for one, and I found it. It's by Invisible and it's got the same underneath part, so the same base, but it's covered like a silk scrunchie, and oh my god, love it, because it's got a lot of stretch, you can tie it around twice, get a nice messy bum with this one. I've been loving this, this is an essential, if you're on a hair journey, you need one of these if you put your hair up. It's perfect, absolutely amazing. I need to get so many more, I bought this in like a pack of two. I don't know where I've put the other one, but I need to keep hold of this one because it's amazing for your hair, highly recommend it, it's perfect. I'm just gonna talk about a couple of food favorites. Now these are so random and so basic that you're gonna be like, why are you mentioning this? But food item number one is an avocado. Uh, okay, right. I've tried avocado in the past and just been like, eh, it doesn't really taste of anything, that's it. It's just been like on a salad plate maybe when I've ordered something out and about never thought to buy them myself but mark and i have been on a bit of a health journey recently and mark's like we need to get avocados they're amazing for you and to be honest he actually started buying them for himself and i was always like nah i don't need that avocado on my plate no thank you the avocado is amazing and it's got so many benefits and i have one every day now i absolutely love it i either have half or whole one every day and i love it with my lunch so so good like why have i not been even eating avocados that i know that some people are like oh it's a bit like i don't like the flavor i don't like the taste but there are so many different ways that you can like make avocado taste different like you can add things to it like the other day I do i smashed it up i smashed up some um small cherry tomatoes mixed it all up added a little bit of honey on top oh it was so so nice on some toast loved it but yeah, I absolutely love avocado, so I had to mention it in my favourites because as ridiculous as it sounds, at the age of 34, it's the first time that I've actually properly tried avocado and I love it. So, so good. Avocado is meant to be great for your gut as well and loads of different things. There are so many different benefits to avocado. So if you're on a bit of a health journey at the moment or just want to improve a few different things within your body, then maybe give an avocado a try and see how you get on. It's meant to be great for your hair as well. So yeah. 
absolutely loving the avocado. The next food item I've been absolutely loving is the Tesco Finest sourdough bread and it is sun-dried tomato and oregano. Oh my god, this is amazing. Now I like sourdough bread but sometimes I find like the plain one just a bit too bland. This one's got flavour. This one is so nice with the avocado on top, like eggs, avocado on top, perfect lunch, perfect brunch, breakfast, however you want to eat it. I love it. So highly wanted to recommend that one because if you are if you like sourdough bread, try this one with the like sun-dried tomatoes and oregano because oh, chef's kiss, absolutely delicious, love it. It's really been helping me with my kind of weight journey at the moment. I've been having that quite often for my kind of breakfast lunch situation, like avocado, eggs on sourdough bread. And it's been an absolute staple for me over the last kind of six weeks, to be honest. I had to mention it because it's such a big thing of my everyday life, this sourdough bread. Um, but yeah, I've been absolutely loving it. I feel like I've been talking forever, talking you through all of my different favorites, but I really hope you enjoyed this video and having a little chat with me. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. I do need to do a bit of a garden update because quite a few things have changed. I, I have been uploading a few little snippets to Instagram, but if you're not over there, I will do a garden update for you soon. Hopefully we're going to get some nice weather next week. So maybe we can get out in the garden and do a little bit more of that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Let me know what you've been loving this month. I'd love to know. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.